Hey everyone, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com and today I'm going to be doing a sponsored review for Happy Forms, an awesome form builder by The Theme Foundry. And you can get it at TheThemeFoundry.com if you click on Happy Forms. And you can view some other things that they have going on here, such as a theme bundle and view pricing for different things. If you click on Happy Forms, you can get a preview of what we're going to be dealing with here and this form builder is really good, I think, especially for a free one because it has a lot of different options, as you can see here. And it also has basically a visual builder built in so you can see the changes being updated on your screen in real time. So if that's interesting to you, let's dive in here and get started. So if you want to, you can again download it from their website here or you can go right into your dashboard and then go to plugins and then you're going to want to add new. And then you're going to want to search for a plugin in the keyword section here. So if we just go for happy forms and type that in, we can see there it is right here and it's by the theme foundry. And if you look right here, it has six ratings over 600 active installs and a five star rating right now overall. So it is a newer plugin, but it's definitely worth installing in my opinion. So let's just get started here and we're going to install this now. And now we're going to activate it. So once it's activated, we are going to be able to start designing with it. It's going to ask you if you want to basically put your email and allow them to basically contact you through email with notifications and things like that. I'm going to click to skip and continue right here. So now that we've installed that, we can see on the left side here we have this happy forms area with a drop down with three different options in it and we have by default the sample contact form. So to get started, I'm gonna dive in and start editing this sample contact form by just clicking edit. And once this loads, we're going to see this sample contact form right here. So what we can do is if you want to, you can change the title. You can see right here, it says sample contact form right here on the right. And this is, it says right here, this is a preview of your new happy form. So. This is what it's going to look like right here on the right side. Now this is a sample contact form. If you want, you can just change that to be something else. I'm just going to make it say contact form for this case. And you can see that it updates in real time right there on the right side. Now if you want to, you can have first name, last name. And if you wanted to uh, change the fields, you can do that. So a way that you can do that is you can actually drag and drop them to reorder them. Another way that we can edit it is if we click on where it says first name here, let's say we want to go down to where it says advanced within that tab and it says half right now. We can change that to be full and it's kind of hard to see because my monitor is actually a little bit smaller, but you will see that it goes full width across the screen. Now if it's half, we can see that it will be shorter. So let's just save it the form. And we're going to actually look at what this would look like. So to get the short code, it's right here. We can click copy to clipboard. And I'm going to go back into pages here. And I'm going to go to contact for our contact form. So right now, if you look at the website that I'm doing this on, it's just a dummy website. And right here is the contact form as of right now. So if we wanted to, we can go into the text side here. And then we're going to just paste it in and click update. And you can also do this by going to where it says add happy forms and add it through there. So if we refresh this contact page, we're going to see there it says contact form. You can change that heading. You can change this first name, last name. This is what it looks like when it's half. So if we went back to the actual forms, let's go back to happy forms and I'm going to click edit again. And for the um, name right here, let's say we want this last name to be full width for some or one third let's say and we're also going to make this one third as well for the first name we'll go into advanced and let's do one third right here and let's just say we wanted to add another section to that so i'm going to retract these right here and for some reason let's just say you want to add in a middle name for some reason so we'll click that on the short text and then it adds it and then if you see down here short text I'm going to drag the short text up to be in between 
and you can see right here it is on the right side. I'm going to then go to advanced. I'm going to make the width one third and I'm just going to call this middle name. Just to show you an example of what it can do and then I'm going to click save the form right here. Now it will bring you back and now you can just refresh and you'll see that it will update in real time since the short codes are already in there. Now it's going to ask first, middle, and last name. So again, if we wanted to go back into it and edit, you can do that. It's very simple to add and edit things in this areas. So if we scroll down a bit, we can see that right here it says, what's your reason for contacting us? And you see over here, this is under multiple choice and this would give you multiple choice if you want to add in something else let's add in let's say a drop down and there's already a drop down here below actually with age so we can add something else so to delete something you would just go down here and then you click delete right there and it's cool because you can actually duplicate sections so if i wanted to make that first name into a middle name section i could actually do this a lot quicker by going down here and clicking duplicate and that would do that a lot quicker for me so another option you could do is let's go with, we'll put a scale in. If you wanted to do a scale, you could do that. So we can say for the title, here's the scale down here. And it looks like it's at 50% to start. So if we wanted to, we can make it maybe a uh, maximum of five. And you say like the scale could be a uh, rating of our services or something like that and then they could scale one through five. If you wanna to go to the advanced section, you can see allow range select and it's gonna go by one instead of 0 0.1 or 10, it goes by ones. So that's how you know it's gonna be one, two, three, four, or five. So that would set that up and you can save that. And let's just see what that looks like on a real form when we update. Now here's the rating one through five. And if you see, I click and it goes to one. If I click here, it goes to two. If I click here, it goes to three. You gotta be on it pretty well for it to go into effect, but that would be how you rate the services. And then you could submit it from there. Now, the important thing is, if you're creating these forms, you wanna be able to receive these forms. So you would go to where it says next down here. See, it says step one through three or one of three. You would hit next, and then it would tell you where the form is supposed to go. So let's just say I wanted to go to my Gmail account. And this is where you would select your message. You received a message. I think that's fine. And then it says your message has success has been successfully sent. We appreciate you contacting us and we'll be in touch soon. If you want to change that message that comes up when someone submits the form, you can do that right here. And then I'm gonna go through this, everything looks fine. Down here I wanted to show this because it has spam prevention built into it. I like that feature and I like that it's automatically checked. If you want to, you can use Google reCAPTCHA, that's a great feature as well to prevent more spam. I like this one by itself, to be honest, I think it's fine. I like how they have it set and this one not set by default. And right here, save messages for this form. So that's a great feature to have, especially with all this GDPR things going on, where you might have to give people information that they've submitted through contact forms. This could actually come in handy a lot, I think, in the future. But I'm not entirely sure. It would be nice to be able to refer back to messages people sent to you as well for your own records. So if we like that, we can click Next if we're okay with everything on this page. And then you can click Save Form here. Now... If we go back here and I'm just going to submit the form. So let's just go through this process. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click age nine. And here I'm going to say, hi, Tom. And I'm just going to rate a three out of five and I'm going to submit the form. And it says I have errors because I didn't fill out the middle names. So here I'll put in B for my middle initial. Let's see if that will take it and I'm going to submit it. And it says your message has been successfully sent. We appreciate you contacting us and we'll be in touch soon. So now if I want to check that I actually received that message, I can do that. So I'm going to pause the video real quick, open up my Gmail and check that so you can see what it looks like. 
And as you can see, I actually got the form right away. It came to me in about a few seconds. It was very quick. It's a lot quicker than other form builders that I've used. I've had a lot of issues personally when I use Contact Form 7 where I don't always receive the messages and it really bugs me. This is definitely a step up in my opinion from Contact Form 7 in terms of actually getting the messages. So I'm going to exit out of that and we're going to go into actually building another one and doing a little bit more edits. So where it says all forms, I'm going to click add new. And let's start building one from scratch right here. So I'm going to just call this um, contact form two. And I'll delete this other text here. And now let's start with, I'm going to start with some short text so we can add that. Um, I'm just going to say title. And I'm going to make this one a th one third instead of full. So I'm going to close that and next I'm going to add another one and I'm going to say name for this one. And down here you can choose if it's required or not. I should have pointed that out before and I'm going to make that a requirement and I'm also going to make this one be half and then I'm going to collapse each of these and next I'm going to add email so I want to make email required and I'm going to make that full width and it is already and next I'll retract that one and so this could work for title right here this title form and you can make that slide that up here instead so let's do instead of title right here I'm going to actually go into this one and I'll delete it it's very simple to maneuver around in here and next, I'm going to click rating. And that could also work instead of that scale that I showed earlier. And I'm going to make that, I'll make that half width. And I'm going to retract this rating part. And then I'll also add phone number. Probably not the best form that there's ever been, but you get the idea. I'm just kind of going through different options that are in here. And I'm going to make this one half as well. And I will save the form right here. Now, I don't like how it goes back and it actually saves it and kicks you back. But I like to be able to save the progress as I'm going through. Maybe that could be something that they can take as like constructive criticism here. But I do think it's a great form overall. It's a free form, so it's very hard to really complain when it's this good. So again, you can put your email address in here. If you want to, you can change text in here as well. And then if we go to where it says next, we can change other things in this section. I didn't do this last time, but if you want to, you can change spacing, you can change uh, the labels and text, you can change the color right here. So let's say you want the title color to be different color. Let's say you want it to be purple. So all these are purple now. Or if you want it to be uh, red, you can do that and make them all red so it stands out. You can change the size of each one. You can also change the description size, the title font size. You can change all this so it really stands out. You can make it center, right, left. It's great because there's so many features involved in this form. I'm actually going to make the title font a little smaller so it's not too crazy. And the descriptive font as well. And I'll bring this one down as well. So you can see that there's a lot of options within here. And you can change the required text color. The rating star color, let's say I wanted to make that um, green. And let's go and just save the form here because this one's a little bit different. Now I will point out before we get into actually implementing this that if you look right here, it says response is one. And that's from that first form that I just submitted five minutes ago. I'm just going to delete this from here, but that will show you where the message is. And let's go back into, we'll go to pages this time, and I'm going to put this on contact page two. I'm going to click edit, and here we're going to add it with happy forms instead. So let's choose a form, contact form two, insert, and we're going to click update, and we're going to see what that looks like. So let's go to the home page here, and we'll see that contact form two is now in place. Phone number, email address, name, title. So all that's in here. I want to see the title. It does drop down with your actual titles like that. I wasn't 100% sure if that's what it would be because I haven't used that feature yet. 
So there's a lot of things you can do. Now another thing I want to show you, if you wanted to, you can add it into the appearance widgets and let's just put it in the sidebar. So right here you see it says happy form. So you can drag this in, put it in here and we'll have contact form one, the regular one in here and we'll save it. And let's see what that looks like. Let's go to the home page now. And you see right now, there's the contact form as a widget in the sidebar right here on the right sidebar that you can also add it in there. Now it is going to be a little more scrunched and I would say you probably don't want to do thirds for this. You probably want to make it full and just do one on each line to make it look a little bit better. Like age looks fine right here. Your message looks a lot better. But when you have three like this, it doesn't look as good. So I just wanted to point out that that was a possibility. And that's about it for this video. I think I'm going to wrap it up at here. But you can see that this form builder comes with a lot of functionality and things built into it. It's really fun and easy to use and make forms with quite simply for a beginner. It's great. I will say that another thing I didn't point out is you can edit things with CSS in it. And if you want to do something a little more advanced, so it does have functionality like that built into it again for a free form builder. It is definitely a top notch product. I really like it and I would highly suggest downloading it. There's nothing to lose here. So thanks again for the theme foundry for sponsoring this video. And I hope you guys check out their website or download the plugin and rate it yourself in the plugin directory. Thanks for viewing everyone. Have a good one.